Is there anything uh, venturing off that you want to do or just keep it the same like we've kind of been doing? Can we focus a little bit more on strengthening quadriceps? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's start just in a seated position today. Let me make sure. So sorry. And okay. So let's just start in a seated position. Place those hands on your legs. Close your eyes down and start to just inhale and exhale through your nose. Taking a moment to just focus on your breath. You might take this time to set an intention for your practice, if you'd like. Maybe there's something you want to focus on within the practice or within just your day-to-day -day life. Take a couple more breaths here. Eventually planting those hands on your knees, bring that chest forward for a seated catch count. You might slightly release the head back and then round you to the back, draw that belly button up and tuck in the chin. Inhale, draw it forward. Exhale, drop it back. Connecting each movement to your breath. Take a few more of these at your own pace. Eventually coming to neutral. Inhale those arms up over your head. And then you might exhale, dropping them to either side. Just a quick side bend. Inhaling the arms back up. Exhale, dropping them to the other side. You can take this as slow or as fast as you'd like. Just connecting that breath to your movement. Eventually, make your way to a tabletop position, rolling over those knees. Take those wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Drop that belly down, taking the chin forward. Inhale, round to the back, draw that belly button up in. Exhale, drop the belly. Inhale, round through the back. Take this at your own pace, going as slow or as fast as you'd like, just really listening to what your body needs today. You might even venture off Maybe taking some big hip swivels. Whatever feels good here. Eventually coming back to a child's pose, take those knees widespread, arms extended forward. Plant that forehead down on the mat, rocking it side to side if that feels good. Just 
reconnect to the breath here. You might inhale that right arm up to the sky, interlacing it underneath the left. Maybe even lifting the hips if that feels good. Just give me the good shoulder stretch on the right side. Focus on your breath here. Make your way back to a neutral position. Taking a couple breaths here. Eventually, inhale, reach that left arm up to the sky, interlace it underneath the right. You might keep those hips a little bit lifted here. Take it back to center, reconnecting to that breath. Eventually tuck those toes and send the hips up that high downward dog. You might pedal at your feet here in this first downward dog. Thinking about trying to get your back as flat as it can. Totally fine to keep a little bend in the knees. Sending those hips up to the sky. You might eventually find some stillness. Taking a few breaths. Eventually shifting forward, hugging on the toes, high plate, exhale, chaturanga down, inhaling, take it to up dog. Exhale, take it back to downward dog. Finding that length, reconnecting to the breath. You might take your fingertips and spread them as wide as you can. Taking those thumbs and pointing them towards each other. On your next inhale, you're gonna reach your right leg up to the sky, bringing it forward to a high lunge here. Staying high on those back left toes. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Keep that knee behind the ankle in the front. So keeping it at a right angle, protecting the knee. Just take a few breaths here. You might exhale, take it out to warrior two. Opening up to the left side, finding some way through the fingertips forward and backward. Once again, keeping that right knee up straight over that ankle. So not letting it go past. Draw that belly button up and in. Take a few breaths. Maybe inhale, reach it forward, revolving it back. Taking that right arm up to the sky. In a nice side stretch to that right side. Exhale, plant that elbow at the knee. Take that left arm up and over. You might even gaze up underneath that left arm. And 
inhale, bring it back up. Straight through that front right leg. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, plant that hand either on the shin or the ground. Coming to this triangle pose. You might take that gaze back up to your left hand. Eventually windmill those hands back down to the front of your foot and step up that back left foot slightly, squaring off the hips. Taking a forward fold over this right leg. Take a few breaths here. You might take some rocks forward and back a little bit, creating some movement. Eventually coming to a seated twist position, we're gonna sit on that left hip here, stacking our right knee over our left. So kind of a little tricky twist. But you're gonna inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, forward fold here, trying to keep a long, flat back. In a couple more breaths in this position. Eventually making your way back up. You're gonna take your hands to the top of your mat once again. Step in your foot back. Take a vinyasa at your own pace. Connecting each movement to your breath, eventually meeting in a downward dog. I need some stillness in that downward dog. Really reach that chest towards the thighs, sending the tailbone up to the sky. And on your next inhale, you're gonna reach your left leg up to the sky, bringing it forward to a high lunge on this side. Staying up high on those back right toes. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Make sure you're keeping that left knee behind the left ankle, keeping it at a right angle, protecting it. Take a few breaths here in this high lunge. On your next exhale, take it out to warrior two, opening up to the right, sending your arms forward and backward. Once again, keeping that left knee at a right angle. You want to keep that right above that left, uh, sorry, that left knee at a right angle and keeping that left knee right above that left foot. Draw that belly button up and in. You're going to inhale, reach it forward, revolving it back, sending that left arm up to the sky. Gazing up at that left thumb. Breathing into that side body. On your next exhale, drop that elbow down to the left knee. Taking the right arm up and over. You might even gaze up underneath that right tricep towards the ceiling. Inhale, take it all the way up. 
Taking a straighten through that left leg. So straighten through that left leg. Inhale, reach it forward slightly. Exhale, take that arm down. Taking the right arm up to the sky, gazing up at the thumbs. Take a few breaths here. Totally fine to keep that hand on the, the leg or if you feel comfortable, you can place on the floor. Take a few breaths. Eventually exhale with it. Windmill the arms up to the top of the mat, scraling or straddling that foot. Bring that right back, back foot up slightly, squaring off the hips, coming to a pyramid pose on this left side. Take a few breaths. Eventually going to come to a seated twist on this side. So we're going to sit on that right hip, stacking the left knees over the left knee, over the right. I'm going to face the camera. When you're there, you're going to inhale, lift tall. Exhale, forward fold here. Continuing that breath in a steady pattern. You inhale and Eventually coming up, you're going to take your hands back to the top of your mat, taking another vinyasa at your own pace. So stepping those foot back, feet back, high plank, exhale, chaturanga, connecting each movement to your breath. Eventually meeting in a child's pose this time, taking your knees wide spread, extend those arms forward. Connect to that breath. You're ready. You're going to make your way back up to a seated position on your heels. And maybe make some room for yourself if you'd like, but we're going to come to a little straddle or a little swastika position. So taking that right heel, putting it right by your hip, sitting on that left hip, and then bringing that left foot right in front of you. Hopefully you can see that okay. So a little seated, little swastika position. Eventually, we are going to lower back onto the elbows if you'd like, giving that right quad a good stretch. You're supposed to keep that right heel in towards that right hip as close as you can to protect that knee. If this feels good on your elbows, feel free to stay here or lower all the way down onto your back. Just letting that oxygen flow freely here. Releasing that tension. Being gentle with your body always. And then shall we make your way up just really slowly and gently. 
Taking that right leg, swing it across to just a seated twist position. So taking that right leg over the left, you're gonna inhale the left arm up. Exhale, plant it and twist. I need some length here in the seated twist position. Draw that belly button up and in. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Then taking the counter twist, plant that right arm at the left leg or the right leg, twisting to the left side. Once again, finding some lift. Feel free to take a little, what's it called, break dancing move where you're gonna plant your hands at the back of your mat and just straighten through your legs. We're just trying to make our way to the opposite side. Eventually taking that left, that left leg over the right for a seated twist position. Feel free to just move there if that was confusing. You're gonna inhale that right arm up, hooking in on that left knee, twisting to the left side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Draw that belly button up and in. And then take the counter twist, planting that left hand gaze over that right shoulder. You're ready, taking that little seated position on the opposite side, tuck that left heel into the left hip, bringing that right leg in front of you. You might drop on those elbows like you did the other side, or you might take it all the way back. Just listening to what your body needs, protecting that knee as you take that heel and place it into your hip, as close to your hip as possible. Let that breath flow freely. Eventually making your way back up as gentle as you can. Bringing those legs in front of you, you might roll to your back. Taking a few rocks along the spine if that feels good. Maybe even drawing your legs out to happy baby. Grabbing the outer edges of the feet, pulling those feet, drawing the knees in towards the armpits. Take a few breaths here. Eventually extending those legs out for your final pose. Drawing those palms up to the sky. Feel free to make any adjustments needed to make yourself feel comfortable. Just letting yourself relax into these final moments of your final pose. Shavasana.
Start to bring your awareness back. You might listen to the sounds within the room or outside the room. Maybe taking bigger inhales and exhales as you start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And make other small movements. Eventually you'll roll to your favorite side, cradling your head with your arms. When you're ready, making your way to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. You might close your eyes. Take a moment to be grateful for your body, grateful to yourself for coming to yoga each week. Awesome job today, guys. Namaste.